today. Feels thematically appropriate. It's kind of like how uh, Eeyore enjoys a glo gloomy day. It's kind of how I'm feeling today. So it's going to be, a, I'm sure, a wonderful, happy, up uplifting vlog today. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome. Fantastic vlog! Okay. I'm gonna get a little nerdy for a minute. I apologize if you're not the, uh, <laughs> of the nerdy and or IT guy persuasion. But here we go. So, I, uh, we have this rash of computers at my job that, um, they're using 100% disk utilization. These are all uh, machines with spinning disk hard drives in them. And um, it seems to help them a lot to replace the hard disk with a solid state drive. So we got a, you know, the, one of those two port hard drive uh, copier, so you can just plug it in, doesn't have to be connected to a computer or anything. Plug it in, push a button, it copies it, put the new one back in. Usually that works fine, um, unless there's some kind of issue with the hard drive. It takes a while uh, of going from that hard drive to the, the solid state drive, about three hours on average. It's a slow burn, um, but uh, it does work, and it's good for like just going to a office, setting it up, and leave it, let it go, come back and finish it later. So anyway, yesterday I went to work on a machine that I could work on and it wasn't going to affect anybody's uh, day. Uh, I started the, pulled the hard drive out, started the hard drive copy um, after I shut it down, of course. Uh, pulled the hard drive out, started the hard drive copy. Uh, said, okay, I'll be back tomorrow morning to uh, finish that. And uh, so I did, came back this morning, started at that office. And the hard drive copy worked perfectly. There's like some little lights on the on the uh, copier um, bay thing that uh, they were all good, looked, looked fine, like the copy worked. That's the only real indication I have of whether or not it worked if that percentage, those percentage lights are done, but usually that means it's fine. Um, if it gets stuck, that means it had an issue, usually. Um, so anyway, <laughs> got that plugged back in, you know, stuck it back in the machine, turned it on. Power light came on, on the front and on the power supply in the back for like a second, goes back out. I said, crap. So I <laughs> unplugged it, took everything else out in case there was anything weird going on. We have a lot of weird peripherals and stuff um, that are needed. So I was like, well, maybe something's messing with it. Yeah shot in the dark. Uh, unplugged everything just down to the power supply, just down to the power cord, and uh, same thing. So, yay! <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm taking this back to my office right now. I've got a stack of these of the same model that I've already done the hard drive swap on. What I'm gonna try to do first is put the old hard drive, uh, or the, the copied hard drive right there, in a new device. Because they're identical machines, it should be fine. Um, they're identical, like Dell mini tower thingies. Um, so they should work fine. If it doesn't work, I'll connect that to a machine and move anything over that needs to be moved over and just spin up one of those machines I've already done the SSD swap on. So yeah, good morning so far, all the work I did basically died. Well, not really. The, the copy still worked, so that was good. At least I've got that copy ready to go, and I can go stick it in somewhere else. So, yay! It is some hour later or so. Uh, yeah, took care of it. Got the, the hard drive dropped in the other machine. Um, came right back up on the new one. Like I said, because they're the very, the exact same model. Just dropped it off at the other office. Came right up. 
issues they were having with it were resolved, the weird slowness because of the hard drive and utilization and all that. Uh, so yeah, good, better start than what I thought it would be, even though I had to slight detour, so. <laughs> I like when things go the way I plan sometimes because they don't always do that. <laughs> all right, it is some time later from the last clip. Oh, uh, but. I wanted to talk about something completely different than the nerdy stuff I've talked about before. I'm still kind of nerdy, I guess. But, um... So lately I've been doing these, uh, releasing old Ron Bina stuff on, uh, through a Muse onto old, onto other streaming platforms. So, like, through a Muse it releases it to, like, Spotify and iTunes and Amazon and YouTube Music and various things. This is not an ad for Ron Bina Music. <laughs> no. Uh, because I've been doing this, uh... I wanted to, my friend uh, Matt's band, uh, the Sundowners, made a demo a few years ago, and uh, they never really were able to do wide release of the music on streaming or anything. So, and last year, I think it was last year, I believe it was last year, uh, their drummer, um, Jay, passed away. And I kind of want to do something for them, uh, just to kind of, you know, in memory of him. So I got... I had all the files of their mp3s and everything so I actually got made an account and got all their stuff streaming on uh, on various platforms so uh yeah they're on they're on spotify now they're on youtube and you should go check them out because their stuff's really cool it's like a five song i think five song six song demo maybe let's see yeah five song demo uh there's like grunge influence and it's just kind of all over the place uh Music style-wise, uh, Matt's brother Dusty is the lead singer. It's really good stuff. I'm gonna try to play some stuff. Let's see if I can play. Uh, I can play Hilltown here. A little bit of it anyway. But I like uh, my favorite is a uh, mess around. I like the the guitar riff on this. It's the general vibe. It's got a it's got a cool sound to it. So anyway, this music's out there now, and I will link to it in the YouTube description play out the vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.